Lots of ships use the harbour at the big station by the sea. The passenger ships have spotless paint and shining brass. Other ships, though smaller and dirtier, are important too. They take coal, machinery and other things abroad and bring back meat, timber and things we need. Fishing boats also come there. They unload their fish on the quay. Some of it is sent to shops in the town and some goes in a special train to other places far away. The railway men call this train the Flying Kipper. One winter evening, Henry's driver said, Well, we'll be out early tomorrow, Henry. We've got to take the Flying Kipper. Now, don't tell Gordon, but I think that if we pull the Kipper nicely, the fat controller will let us pull the express. Henry was very excited. That will be lovely. He was ready at five o'clock. There was snow and frost. Men hustled and shouted, loading the vans with crates of fish. The last door banged. The guard showed his green lamp and Henry started off. Thick clouds of smoke and steam poured from Henry's funnel into the cold air. The light grew better and a yellow signal appeared ahead. Henry's driver shut off the steam and prepared to stop. But the home signal was down. And so he said, Oral clear, Henry. Go on, away we go. They couldn't know the points from the main line to the siding were frozen and that the signal had been set at danger. A goods train waited in the siding to let the flying clipper pass. Then suddenly, Henry was sprawled over on his side. The fat controller came to see him. Well, Henry, what have you got to say for yourself, hmm? Oh, dear, sir. Shh, you know, it's... Oh, sir, the signal was down, sir. Honestly, it was. Honestly. <laughs> Cheer up, Henry wasn't your fault. Ice and snow caused the accident. I'm sending you to Crewe, a fine place for sick engines. They'll give you a new shape and a larger firebox and then you'll feel a different engine and you won't need special coal anymore. Now, won't that be nice, hmm? Yes, sir. Henry liked being at Crewe but was glad to come home. A crowd of people waited to see him arrive in his new shape. He looked so splendid and strong that they gave him three cheers. And Henry said, Thank you. Thank you.